many, many, many of us are willing to bet. What? <gasps> what the fuck is that? Um, yes, there's a lot of talk about. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Please. Oh! Today, we are going to be playing Lethal Company, the beautiful, charming, amazing indie game. Um, and oh my god, I have so many thoughts on my mind today. My mind is very scattered today, so I will try my best to make uh, as much sense as possible. Um, but maybe I will start with... Uh, I don't know, maybe I'll just start with why I chose Little Company, maybe, uh, as, as the game of today. I feel like Little Company uh, in, in, in this game, you know, has a... Or maybe I'll start with the strategy first, going into this game. So I have played this game before with uh, one other friend and already, I've already forgot that I've, I ordered some items. But uh, yeah, I've, I played with one other friend, so I roughly know what I'm doing. But I, uh, I'm, I'm kind of new to this game, so I'm not sure if soloing it would be uh, the best of ideas, but I do love this game very, very much. Um, also, I ordered a lock picker, but I don't really know what it does. This is my first time buying this item, so hopefully, I don't know. Place on door left mouse button. I'm not sure if I, ha I have even saw any um, doors that are, you know, are capable of being lock picked. But in any case, where was I? Yes, so I think the strategy for, for this game today is to simply um, or rather one of the very hard parts about soloing a uh, little company is the fact that I have very very limited inventory slots so I think what I'll do is I'm gonna rush the scrap okay the macro strategy is to oh my god what's it rush the the scrap as much scrap as possible and only sell what is needed. So I'm gonna hoard everything and sell only what is needed to fulfill uh, the quota for each for each uh, deadline. And so that way we kind of save the money and at the same time also not um, overspend in that sense. Only spend what we need. See, already my inventory is full. So I am now just realizing that um, a lock picker is not. Pro What's that? A lock picker is probably not worth it um, because keys are relatively abundant over here, and I'm just now realizing that I've wasted one inventory slot. So anyway, the the, the macro the macro um, strategy is to yeah, like I said, rush the scrap and see how far we can go soloing this only selling what we need and the my micro strategy i don't know the, and and the the micro strategy i guess is to is to um bring items to the to the front door like this and then transport them all at once back to the ship so i'm just kind of saving space right don't think i need a lock because since i have a key and it seems that we have traversed, I don't know, all sides. Do I need to do a parkour here? Okay, we're in a different area now. Yeah, but anyway, the reason why I chose little... I heard a door open. The reason why I chose little company for today is because I'm in a place now where I'm looking for a full-time job and I'm not employed and I'm sorry. Okay, let me let me try to make more sense. Maybe let's let me talk about the like how I explain the game strategy. Maybe I'll talk about the macro first and then the micro. So I think nowadays, um, especially when it comes to you know workers' rights and uh, how oh, hold on, let me just close my Telegram and how companies are treating workers. We are kind of in a mid to late stage capitalism. And this sentiment is kind of, uh, can be reflected, especially, I guess it is especially prominent 
in American society, or maybe because the 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 you know, the media coverage is uh, more prominent over there, so we hear more about the uh, U.S. workforce and their landscape over there. So it is something that is very prominent, uh, and but but this phenomenon that um, workers are getting more disgruntled that, that well, workers are getting more and as time goes on they're getting more and more you know a disgruntled because they are they are getting unfairly treated right and and this this disparity in the working class and uh, what what is that upper upper class the basically the super rich and oh we got another key and the working class this disparity is is getting more and more uh, extreme, right? And so this phenomenon is not only uh, common to America, but uh, many other countries as well. And I think the world in general is feeling some sort of pressure to redesign essentially uh, this economic system. Now, whether or not it is capitalistic in nature, uh, or, oh my God, okay, they can't stick it. Why there's so many keys? Whether or not it is uh, capitalistic in nature, I do not know, um, but there is a almost, um, I would say a, not is it a hunger or a desire, a need for for this system of uh, of this kind of late stage capital, capitalism, capitalist, capitalist system to be eradicated. Uh, it may happen in the next you know, 50 years, 100 years, 500 years, but I believe that this revolution is something that will happen. It is just a matter of time. Now, how it will happen is, is a completely different thing, but, but there is definitely some sort of desire and a yearning for for the unfair treatment of uh, a vast majority of the... Po I'm getting actually quite scared. A vast majority of the population to, to go away. Right? And why this is related... <laughs> That was a long ass introduction. But why this is related to the choice today is because Little Company, uh, although done in a very goofy manner, is fundamentally a story, or the context at least, in which the uh, uh, we are playing this game in, is that we are working for this company that uh, essentially doesn't treat its workers very well at all, right? So Little Company clearly doesn't care for its employees and I hope that wasn't a trigger for the arachnid. But it also means that he's here. Is that him? No, that's a pipe. And I'm realizing now that my flashlight is very quickly running out. And we haven't found much, honestly. Yeah, so Little Company is a company that doesn't really treat yeah, its workers uh, well, it doesn't really care about the well-being of, of its workers, but uh, the workers are here nonetheless, kind of working for, for the company. Um, and it is something that, um, I don't know, this is done in a very goofy, light-hearted manner, but I think it's something that reflects um, kind of uh, modern day, almost like the modern day uh, workforce in some ways. So that's the micro, that's the reason why I chose this uh, game. And also partly another reason why I chose this game today is because I myself, uh, I'm looking for a full-time job at the moment and I'm unemployed and I'm feeling a lot of pressure to, to, uh oh, there's goop, there's goop right there. Feeling a lot of pressure to, oh, <gasps> almost ran it. Feeling, I can feeling the 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 pressures of uh, uh, finding a job essentially, right? That is a very that is a, a simplification of, of the of the things I'm feeling. But uh, anyone who has been in in the in, in this position will know that uh, the pressures of finding a full time job is is not uh, is not something that is uh, pleasant. And I think the reason why is because. In order to find a full-time job in a rather uh, capitalistic society, or maybe not a capitalistic, capitalistic society, I don't know, maybe it's just 
under any kind of economic system, maybe that it, it holds true that that finding job it will be uh, not a pleasant experience. But I think specifically for my situation right now, I think um, it is because um, oh my god, what's that? Oh, my flash is out. That's not good. I think it's because in a way we are forced, the workers are forced to almost, to kind of put on a facade, right? Nowadays, there's also a lot of talk about being authentic to yourself. And if you want to find a job, a decent job, in some ways you are forced to put on a facade to be someone you are not. Because it feels like nowadays, I don't really want to say the only way of uh, finding a job, but it feels like, um, sorry, I'm just deciding what to take and what to throw. What time? 10.27, shit, I don't make a decision fast. Uh, flashbang can come in kind of handy. Oh, that's another homemade flashbang. Okay, then I just, I'll just take one. I have a feeling the lock picker just accounts for all keys. Is that is that the idea? As in, it can be used multiple times. Do I make it back in time? I hope I make it. Yeah. So anyway, as I was saying. Um. Yes. Yeah, there's a lot of talk about. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Please. Ooh. I'm just. Ooh, baby. Oh my god, what an exciting first. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm just leaving. Oh my god, okay, okay, okay. Let me just calm down for a little bit. <laughs> Fuck me. Yeah, okay, like I was saying, um, there's a lot of talk about authenticity nowadays and in order to find a job, to some sense, in, in some ways, uh, the, the workers are forced to, to, to put on a facade, to lie about their skills, typically on a resume, even in an interview, right? Because uh, uh, everybody's just competing. Every is just everybody is just competing for for to, to get a job. We are just faking like, you know, we are we're just kind of putting on a facade that oh we are we are interested in 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 a position that uh, obviously the vast majority of us are not. We're just there for the money, but we have to, yeah. We we don't really have a choice but to to fake, you know, fake authenticity. Uh, as as ironic as as it is, right? The fact that you're interested in in whatever work the company is doing uh, in order to get a job, and and it, it's kind of um, sad because you know it, it, I guess in it, when it comes to life in general, there will be times in everybody's life where they feel anxious, depressed demotivated, undisciplined, for sure, 100%. But life goes on, right? Life goes on just because you are you are f facing all these problems. Uh, it doesn't mean that, um, you know, that you don't need money. You still need to eat. You still need to provide for yourself. And I'm dead right here. No, I'm not. Okay. And so there will definitely be people for sure, I would be willing to bet that actually a lot of people are just in general just not in, really interested in, in whatever they're doing, understandably. But they have to do it because of the money. But they can't, it's not socially acceptable to, to, to say that you're just doing it for the money. 
and and I'm not sure why that is. It's a very bizarre. I thought I heard something else. I thought I heard footsteps that were not my own. Yeah, but it's a very bizarre phenomenon, right? Essentially, that of many, many, many of us are willing to bet. What? <gasps> what the fuck is that? Hey, that's not fair, man. I worked hard for that shit, okay? I'm willing to bet that a vast majority of us uh, are, are just experiencing some form of anhedonia, right? And we just want to earn the money. But it's not socially acceptable for, for us to, to say that that uh, we, we are just there for the money. And I'm not sure why. And so, so many of us, so many of us, vast majority of us, every day we put on this mask, we put on this facade, and we go about our daily lives just not being ourselves because it's not socially acceptable to be ourselves, right? And even though we're all feeling the same way, that's, that's, that's the, the bizarre thing. We're all feeling the same way, but, but we just... I don't know. We just judge others for what? Feeling the way that, that, that we're feeling? Which is really a bizarre thing to experience. And then, so, so the whole world, the whole world, I'm making a very hasty kind of vast uh, generalization over here, but you know, a vast majority of us, I'm willing to bet more than half of us, uh, are put on this, putting on this mask, this facade, and then we wonder why we wonder why the, the world is like depressed and anxious and 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 just not thriving, right? Essentially. And I think we can be more honest with ourselves. I think if if we can not only be more honest with ourselves, but we judge people less for being honest, for for admitting that, you know what? This sucks. Having a job. Okay. Like having a job sucks, right? Um, sorry, I'm just I'm a bit distracted right now. Yeah, like having a job sucks, right? If we can be more honest with ourselves and and be less judgmental about. Uh, um, others when they when they are vulnerable with us in a, in 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 um conveying that that they they are just there for the money and 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 uh, more understanding then i think we'll be creating a world where yes we need to work and we will work but it will be a much more open comfortable and safe environment right and I oh oh <laughs> come on okay but anyway yeah I, I'm not sure if I'm, I'm I'm making any sense but uh, essentially I, I had a friend uh, who who told me once that um, a, a job interview is basically just two people lying to each other and it's such a I just remember feeling very sad I felt many things uh, and I feel I still feel many things uh, surrounding that quote but I just feel very sad you know that that um, I, I, I don't know that we that we have that we're just I don't know we're just not honest with ourselves I guess and that we have to lie and then the, the employers have lied to us about how good the company is and whatever the culture is great whatever and and I, I'm not saying that they, there aren't any great companies out there, but I'm saying that, like, you know, why can't we just be honest with ourselves and just say, this sucks, you know, this this sucks. And uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. It's, it's, what a bizarre, what a bizarre world we live in. I, I, I'm pretty sure, I, I remember there's a term for, for something in uh, sociology, about this this phenomenon where um, where everybody is sharing the same kind of uh, 
ignorance, I guess, in some way. Uh, wait, what? Oh, 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 they already bought. Okay. Oh. Yeah, everybody is sharing this the same feeling, but no, nobody, um, you know, no, nobody dares to voice out their opinions. And so everybody just kind of lives in this shared ignorance. Um, and it's very sad to see. And and I remember in, in one of my sociology classes where they were saying that uh, dictators, dictators use this very effectively this shared ignorance thing so they use that as a as a way to keep people in check to keep people silent about uh the the current state of affairs right to keep people mute um to avoid the masses essentially kind of raising up against the elites and one of the good examples of this is uh back when uh, i forgot which country it was was it uh, one of the Middle Eastern countries, right, where like the women were, were um, uh, kind of protesting against, uh, uh, pro protesting for women rights and protesting against the oppression of women uh, in the Middle East. And many of them decided not to uh, wear hijabs anymore. And, 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 wait, did they not buy the thing? Yeah, and they decided not to wear the hijabs anymore. I forgot, this was a few years back. I, I couldn't, I, I don't remember when it was, but... Did I not buy it? Wait, okay, let me, let me, let me restart the... Yeah, this was a few years back, and... You know, the moment one person steps out, one, one woman steps out and says that, you know, I... I why, why is this... Oh, does it save the game? It saves the game. No, I want a different one. Yeah, but the moment uh, somebody comes out and says that, you know, speaking up for, for, for women's rights uh, in the Middle East, then everybody suddenly, you know, they're like, oh, I'm, I, I, I'm not, you know, alone after all in, in, in how I feel, right? Um... Yeah, and, 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 you know, prior to that, you know, everybody was kind of feeling the same way, but, but they never really talked to one another about it, I guess. And it just felt that everybody was, uh, was, they, they felt that they were alone, essentially, right? And that if they voice out their opinions, if these women voice out their opinions against their oppressors, then other people, other women would shame them, but actually that's not the case. And so, they were living in this very bizarre condition, this this shared ignorance um, that everybody that 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 they that they kind of that that was a reality that they were living in, uh, even though it, it may or may not be true. And I I say I, I feel that there are some parallels between that and and how uh, uh, workers are feeling right now in general, right where they are not. Um, they feel like, oh, I have to be in a rat race, you know, I have to get a, a really good job, if not, you know, and getting a really good job is, is you know, I will gain the respect of my peers if I get a good job, but actually no, nobody cares about that, nobody cares about having a, a, a prestigious high paying job or whatever, we just want peace, right? All of us just want peace, who doesn't want peace? Of course all of us, we, we just want peace, we just want peace. Um, but but everybody thinks, you know, that other people think that, uh, uh, you know, having a job is like, having a, a super prestigious job is like, whoa, the kind of the goal of life. But obviously that's not true. Um, but you know, we work so hard, we betray ourselves to, to, to we betray our authenticity to kind of, uh, uh, almost in a way, not even not even please employers in a way it's pleasing this almost weird twisted um weird twisted form of reality that all of us have created in our heads uh to to i don't know to i don't know prove something i don't even know what i'm saying but you you know hopefully you get you get what i'm saying <laughs> but yeah which is why you know 
I, I chose <laughs> Little Company as a game today. Uh, but basically, uh, long story short, I do hope that people, that the world, every single one of us, do take care of ourselves uh, better. Do, do, um, do kind of realize the moments in which we are betraying ourselves and, and try to take some time uh, and and energy to kind of combat that to kind of uh, um, move the needle towards a better, more comfortable, safer society, a society in which we can be more honest with ourselves. Um, and not only can we be more honest with ourselves, but a society in which it is socially acceptable to be uh, honest with ourselves and with others, at least with regards to, um, you know, our relationship with work. Uh, because now as it stands, you know, uh, for many societies, uh, uh, work is kind of so integral, it's such an integral part of, of life, almost to the point where some people just completely lose their sense of self um, with, without, you know, without work. If they're not working, they lose their sense of self. They don't know what to do, uh, which is kind of crazy to me, right? And uh, maybe, you know, maybe there was a time and place where um, that was the ideal kind of situation for people to be in. That was the ideal situation, meaning um, maybe there was a, a, an era whereby, whereby, whereby if your life centered around work, you can be said to be someone who is thriving. Um, but I don't think that's the case anymore. I think we have reached a stage where um, humans have evolved essentially to a point where if we have fair and um, equitable kind of uh, wealth distribution mechanisms, everybody will have the opportunity and everybody will have the chance to uh, thrive and not survive. So maybe in an era where people are, the, the focus of self-actualization is on survival, defining your life around your job or a career would have made a lot of sense. But I think we have moved past that stage. We have evolved past that stage. And we have evolved to a stage where, where to me, I believe self-actualization lies in not only surviving, but thriving as an individual. Um, and, and I just think that as we evolve, you know, as humanity evolve, uh, evolves, um, our strategies and our society and, and mechanisms within our society will need to evolve alongside it. And what shape or form this will take in the next coming 50, 100, 500 years, I do not know. But I know, and I, I guess many of us do have the intuition that something needs to be done to, to eradicate uh, late stage capitalism. At least, uh, you know what? Fuck me. At least in a way where where it makes sense to 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 maintain a much mm, or rather at least in a way where uh we are not defined by our careers anymore. Um I mean even then I don't know if that's a solution. To decouple in a way to de Oh fuck me. Maybe I should have done that. 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 Fuck. But yeah, I I I do hope for a world where 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 we where where it is so much easier for us to build um a healthy relationship with our careers. And I don't think that necessarily exists now in, in our in our society. Um, yeah, I don't know.
with two days right okay i think we can still make it but anyway so um yeah today the focus on on the the topic that i wanted to talk about is very much uh jobs in general uh, kind of the the workforce and the landscape of uh, job hunting and perhaps in the process also why i f i'm feeling the way that i'm feeling it is very very depressing to to feel like you are behind to feel like you know you are you are not making any progress uh, at least with regards to you know i mean seeing all your friends and getting high paying jobs and earning a decent salary and, and here i am kind of you know trying my best to find a job and, and facing not only rejections but but countless of uh companies just ghosting me right just ignoring me and, and, and not not um well wow, too present oh my god this game is treating treating me better than any company that i've been a part of but anyway uh yeah it's a it's a it's a weird feeling you know it's a very depressing and, and very a uh, weird and bizarre feeling as well and and i do hope that you know moving forwards we really can create a society where where less people will have to feel the way that i do essentially and i i, I do have many thoughts um about many things uh, my mind is a cluttered mess um but yeah job hunting job seeking is is the one at the forefront of my mind today and i hope that i have uh did hopefully at least a decent job in um explaining where i stand uh and my stance and how i feel about the situation um yeah and 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 you know i i i hope that I don't know, I, I just want to improve my articulation skills as well. And I, I'm at a place where right now, um, my, artic my confidence or lack of confidence in my articulation skills uh, is actually posing quite a bit of um, issue, at least with regards to um, my confidence in general as a person, because I feel that, I feel like if your, com if your communication skills aren't great, then uh naturally 31 then naturally um it is easy for you to be misrepresented as a person um even though you might have the best uh not or not even it doesn't have to be the best but even though you might have uh even though you are you know as good as a person as as any other uh your intentions are just as pure your 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 uh your ideas are, are just as brilliant but if you don't have the communication skills to convey what you want to convey then it's so easy to miss to be misunderstood and to be misrepresented and i think that is su such a shame because i assure you that there are many many brilliant minds out there that 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 just you know because they don't have good communication skills are not they are they are, they are light in in some ways right it's not not um not prominent enough in the world they 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 they, they can't what the fuck's that i'm scared their their light is not I'm so scared right now. They are not seen by, by people that ironically sometimes they're not seen by people who might need to see them, right? To 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 re let other people realize that hey actually you're not alone in, in feeling a certain way or maybe your idea is, is, is not as crazy as it thinks as as you think. Um 
and yeah and, and so I really want to work on my communication skills and, and, and to me it's one of the things that unfortunately uh, uh, it, it is something that, that oh fuck me it is something that um, I don't know it's just I, 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 I hope I, I live in a world where you know I'm able to to I'm, I hope I'm, I live in a world where, where everybody has the same has perfect communication skills obviously we don't live in a world like that but wouldn't a world like that be nice? You know, everybody is just... So everybody is able to convey what they want to convey. Everybody is able to articulate what they want to articulate. Everybody is able to connect with people who truly value them. And it's easy to identify who has the same values as you, who has the same uh, uh, thought processes as you. And it's easy to find, basically it's, it will be much easier to find your tribe. And I think I'm going to forego the the EXO because I, I, I don't want to be slowed down here. I think I have to get back to the ship if I'm going to make two trips, right? To, oh, balls. That is not good. I don't think I'll make it back in time. I don't think I'll make it back in time. Yeah, I, I wish to live in a world like that. Um, but uh, obviously we don't, and so here I am, working on my communication skills. Um, and, and hopefully... Uh, I don't know. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired and I'm scared. Where did I even come from? I have to use my torch very sparingly now. This is where I was, right? Okay, okay, okay. Some light. Okay, okay, we're getting somewhere. We're back here. Now how do I get out? I forgot how I came. I have a feeling I did not come from here. I'm getting out, 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 I wanna get 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 out. Did I come from here? No, I don't remember spider webs. Oh I'm so fucked. I'm so fucked. Okay, I think I I managed to jump past that web. I mean, it has to be, I, I don't, oh. oh my god, fuck, please tell me there's a door, there's no door, shit, oh fuck, I mean, ha, oh, fuck, okay. Okay, I don't have a choice. And I'm gonna trigger that web now, aren't I? 
There's no way for me to avoid that. There's just no way. Can I do it? Oh, there we go. Okay, I avoided that. Great. Oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck me. I panicked. I panicked. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm 100% dead. This is where I came from? There's gotta be some like room or something. Where is the edge? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. But yeah. I mean, I guess. Um, I don't know. Shall, shall we go one more? I feel like maybe we can go one more. Uh, let's go one more. Let's go one more. I, I can do this. I can do this. Come on. At least, at least the first one. I don't think I can do it in one day anymore. But come on. I think we can do it. Make yourself at home. To complete the onboarding process, you will want to check the instruction manual and sign into your ship's computer terminal. We trust you will be a great asset. Circuit bees? Are those circuit bees? No? New creature? Huh, okay. You know, as I was trying to explain myself uh, for the entirety of that session, mm, I realized how unaware I was of, of my own body, of, of, of uh, maybe even sometimes the things that I was saying. And now, so this session now, the aim of this session is to be more aware of... Uh, aware of my state of being and it's gonna be a much more slow quiet session and we are going to appreciate or attempt to appreciate the atmosphere in this game although I'm not sure if appreciating is the right word to use Thankfully, I found this EXO, which is quite close to the entrance, right here. The steering wheel right there. Steering wheel... Oh, there's a steering wheel. Steering wheel right here. <laughs> steer, there's, a steer, there's a tongue twister. Steer, steer, steering wheel right there. Steering wheel right there. A steering wheel right there.
Also, if you haven't figured it out by now, my sense of direction is absolutely dog shit. So I'm just counting on blind faith that I will find the entrance in time. <gasps> nope, we're not going there. Goodbye. I thought I heard something. Okay, great. Look at that. Blind faith works again. Oh no, I dropped my flashlight. <laughs> no, that's not what I wanted to drop. Okay, we still have about more than half of our flashlight left. This is where we were. I am not sure if going back is the wise thing to do at this moment. But... But let's do it nonetheless. Actually, I think there's nothing else here to explore. I think I covered pretty much everything. Except maybe this, this parkour. So we just take a look. Why not, right? Be an engine right off the bat. Bottles right off the bat. It's 53. It's 22. Okay, I think I think it's time to go. I have a feeling I won't be able to find the, the entrance in time if I continue this way. Is this locked? Oh jeez. Oh jeez. You know what? Let's go back. I don't want to risk it. I think we've gotten enough uh, uh, money for a single player experience. Um, the only thing now is I don't know. Uh oh. I have a feeling we won't be able to make it back in time. Parkour here, yes? Okay. This is how I go back, yes? Oh, the shadows are really fucking me up. Okay, okay. This is how we go back. Oh, oh, fire exit. Let's just get out, let's just get out. Okay, great. That was a really great outcome, I would say. Um, let me just save the flashlight for when I really need it, you know. 518 and we really have to pick and choose what we want to carry What is the play here? I don't even know. Let's just go back, man. to make a run for it.
Axel is there. We have one more thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I hope nothing grabs us. I mean, that, that worm coming out of the ground is, is such a bullshit thing, right? <laughs> Alright, there we go. Let me just do that. Nice, I think we got it. What a perfect first day. You know, another thing that has been on my mind recently and uh, also the reason why I, uh, or rather partly the reason why I started this channel is because just this year I realized that uh, my body is addicted to stress. And as you can imagine, that is a damn problem because I don't know. It just, it just, you know, it, it, it um, encourages, uh, and it's, it is the source of a lot of my self-sabotaging behaviors. Uh, because when things aren't going wrong my body and my brain is like hey why 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 am i why are you not stressed right now something isn't right and i guess this is also partly because uh, throughout my life i have been someone who is who learned how to survive uh, being in a fight or flight mode so i am used to being in a flight fight of is it fight fight or flight yeah, fight or flight mode. To the extent where if I'm not in that state, I feel unsafe and my body is constantly trying to put myself there. And as you can imagine, that is uh, not the healthiest of things to do. Not, not, in the, not the healthiest of uh, mindsets to have. Right? And it is something that I'm constantly trying to be aware of right now. Which is why I'm trying to practice this awareness even in a heightened state. Like playing a horror game like Little Company. I'm actually sweating right now. But you know, as long as I can get back to my breath, then everything will be fine. And I guess the goal is not to alleviate any of these uh, alleviate the suffering. <gasps> oh fuck, this scared me. Thought I saw something. The goal is not to alleviate any of the suffering associated with uh, these heightened states, but as a start, just to simply be aware of them. I hear something. And that necessarily means... You know what? I'm getting a fuck out. <laughs> 11.33, we got time. What the fuck is that sound? Yeah, and I was saying, so being aware and focus on my breath necessarily means that sometimes I take a bit longer to respond. 
because I'm consciously trying to rewire my brain to respond in ways that serve me. And if we have the money, I am going to use it to buy a spray can because I think I desperately need it. Yeah, I think you know what? Let's leave before anything happens. I feel like I've cleared most of uh, the areas that I need to clear. And yeah, let's go. Pulling myself back into awareness is, is something that is so difficult to do and something that I really struggle with because yeah, my throat just gets really tensed up and I'm, I'm trying to, you know, use uh, awareness to counteract that, to relax the muscles in my, I mean, you can hear it right now as I'm speaking, right? My throat just gets really tensed up the more I talk. And because of that, I, I try not to talk too much in social settings. But that also necessarily means that sometimes I get overshadowed by uh, people with bigger personalities. Mm. And it just feels like sometimes I try to be someone I'm not. And that takes a toll on my body, very much so. Even now, as I'm speaking to you, there's a part of me that, uh, you know, is constantly trying to be someone else I'm not. That is constantly trying to be an entertainer. That is constantly trying to win your approval. <coughs> and it is a, a painful existence. And I will never wish that upon, you know, anyone. Uh, but it is something I'm trying to work through. It is something I'm trying to work through. So let's just play it safe right now uh, because one day left to the quota. I think we're making good progress. We just need to not die. Fantastic, we have cleared this area. Oh no, there's so many, there's so many pathways that we can take. I think another thing I want to work on is also really the uh, not really sure what the word for word for it is but the conciseness of oh fuck there's a ghoul the conciseness of uh, the 
things that I'm trying to articulate. I think I struggle with that quite frequently as well. Fire exit, beautiful, beautiful. Just gonna leave that there. Clear some of our inventory space. Now the question is, is the fire exit linked to the main entrance in the sense that I can run there directly without taking a huge detour and it seems like it's not. Uh, it seems like I will have to take the big detour. Okay, I think the moment we get the large axle out, uh, we get this reactor and we're done. That's all I'm going to risk. I'm not going to risk anymore. So where was the exit again? Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So the reactor room was here, yes. Down here, yes. Beautiful. Now the thing is, oh fuck me. I'm hearing a lot of noises. Now the thing is, I don't know if the reactor, you know, taking out the reactor and basically increasing radioacti radioactivity levels, I'm not sure if they actually, uh, it actually triggers any, I don't know, any kind of um, event to happen, make the creatures more hostile. I have no idea. Uh, but, you know, again, I, I, I'm not risking it too much and I'm actually very glad that the reactor was so close to one of the uh, exits. So another thing about me is that I really do like to talk. <laughs> I mean, of course, if I'm confident, I guess as much as possible, I I, I like to voice my opinions. Uh, but but I always find it hard to physically speak. I'm not sure why. Um. Yeah, I'm just not sure why. Maybe, again, maybe it's just uh, a symptom of uh, not uh, not being able to focus on the thing that I want to say, but rather focusing on uh, the individual words that make me really strain my voice. Um, but yeah, I, 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 I do. That, again, that is something that I would like to practice as well. Maybe it's my posture, the, the amount of air that is coming in or out uh, of, of my, of me loins, <laughs> no, of, of, of my uh, respiratory system. And so it, it's hard sometimes as I'm trying to explain my point, I worry about all these different things. Uh, my breath gets shallow and, and, and it kind of uh, and I'm unable to perfectly articulate what I want to articulate and I get more anxious and my breath gets more and more shallow and then the whole cycle perpetuates itself it's a hard thing to kind of grapple with I guess in, 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 in some sense um, so yeah it's, it's tough man okay but the good news is that we
the good news is that we definitely have enough for our first quota. Look at that, 348. Holy crap. Alright, I plan to get the... I plan to get the 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 spray paint, which uh, costs fifty, and let's see what else. I have three hundred and forty-eight. That leaves me about three hundred, and I'll get a zap gun, I guess, which means that I can basically sell everything, so that I can purchase uh, the zap gun and the spray paint. All right, sounds like a deal. And uh, I'm sorry if, you know, I, it's a very boring gameplay up to now because I've always been focusing on uh, experimentation and not really, you know, playing, uh, playing the other, playing the other, um, what do you call it, playing the other, other planets because I just wanted to play it safe you know I was thinking like we must at least get one right we must must at least get one uh, yeah we must at least get one one victory you know to hit the quota at least once in this entire playthrough And along with that, I'm also thinking of putting chapters in 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 the in the video. How much do I have? And also, by the way, you know this alien tentacle that comes out. Does it mean that the company is run by, I don't know, like aliens? That would be something, wouldn't it? All right, let's go. So I wanted to buy the spray paint. I also wanted to buy the Zap Gun. And we still have a surplus of 61. Um, I mean, I should just leave it, right? If I die, I die. Is that the, the idea here? Let's go to Assurance now. And we shall wait for the... for the thing. In the meantime, I guess we can just kind of take a look around and uh, figure out where to go. I'm pretty sure it's that side. Alright, Star, I'm ready for you. Aha! I was looking for the items, I 
didn't realize I had to open it first. Alright. Spray paint. Zap gun. I think we really do need the zap gun. Uh, and maybe... Oh, but I want that. Oh, that leaves only one. You know what? Oh, I don't know. Drop, scan for threat. You can scan for threats. If we can scan for threats, then... Oh, but I want the flashlight too. This is tough. This inventory management is, is tough. You know, I, I want to learn how to use the zap gun. I've never used it before. So, what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to leave the spray paint here. Alright. And I want to see how well that works. And kind of get a feeling for... <clears throat> And kind of get a feeling for the, the radius of, of the zap gun as well. Does it have a battery? Oh, it does have a battery. Can we hold it down? No, it's a kind of... Okay, interesting. Ooh. But why doesn't it pick up the turret? Okay, whatever. Reactor room here? Homemade flashbang over there. I heard, I swear I heard the door open. I swear I heard the door open. Can I jump up and take it? No? I feel like just grabbing this and going. Oh, fuck it. Fuck it, why not? I'm still unsure if the, if the increased levels of radiation does anything. Is this where you came from? This is where you came from, I think, because there was a turret or something. Oh no, there was just this parkour portion that I didn't really want to do. But now we're here. I, I, I'm still not sure how the zap gun works and I'm gonna fucking shit myself the moment the light turns red or something. Somehow this this is making having the zap, zap gun is making me even more anxious. I don't like being here, man. I, I I don't know why, but every after taking out the reactor, I, I don't like being in in the this place anymore. Oh, yeah. For some reason, it doesn't scan the the turret. Okay, you know what? Let's get out. Let's get out. Fuck that. Let's get out. We have come what we came for. We have four items. We are we are beautiful. It's three twenty three. I would say we have won in some ways. In more ways than one. We haven't figured out how to use the zap gun. Uh but it's okay. We can uh leave that for another day, you know.
Yeah, what was I talking about? Yeah, so being addicted to my body being addicted to stress, I think I don't know, my 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 mind is just always kind of hyper fixating on on uh how my body is being put how me as a whole uh is being perceived by other people. And so I always hyper fixate on every single little detail uh that that uh I'm doing, every word that I say, even the things that I'm thinking. Um so it's tough. It's it, it, it's tough, and I think, you know, I just having confidence would be nice. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. Having confidence would definitely be nice, and I'm hoping that through improving my articulation skills, I will be able to convey myself better. I'll be able to reduce the chances that I'm, I'm misrepresented by myself, and uh, through that improve my my interactions with people and improve my confidence as a whole so that is the goal of why i started this channel uh i'm, I'm not sure how long i'll take to get there and i'm not sure if you know um the circumstances in my life are necessarily um, how that will shift and change and how that will affect the the goal that i'm trying to achieve but who knows Uh, it's it's nice, you know, just kind of playing games and uh, you know, playing games and just talking. Now, how do I use this, honestly? I mean, I'm holding the key down, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything. The battery doesn't seem to be draining. There's a battery icon, but then there's there's. It, the battery doesn't seem to be decreasing, at least for the zap gun. Uh, I have absolutely no idea. Now, our next target is uh, 228. We currently have... Well, like 100, 100 something, 100 plus. Hazard level D. And everything is flooded. I'm not sure if. Oh. Oh, Circuit Bees. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it was a good idea coming here. Yeah, this was a bad idea. Where do I even go? Are those the pipes? Let me get some high ground. Okay. There we go. I'm I have no idea how I'll be able to get back after that. After after all these, but we'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. It's on me, honestly. <laughs> it's on me for, for coming here even though uh, it's flooded. You know, maybe the play is to use... Oh, fuck me. Whoa! Bruh. <laughs> How does a zap gun work? I don't get it. It didn't notify me of anything in the area. Okay, but interesting. I mean, at least, at least we got through the first... Uh, the first... Um, Deadline, uh, and yeah, if you're still watching, once again, thank you very much for 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 watching and, and sticking with me through this entire journey up to now. I appreciate it very very much. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.